Hello everyone. We start our uh, third lecture, and our lecture will be devoted to the following uh, question: is application of the formal languages and matter and code. We give a very simple application of these uh, topics, and also what we spread the abstract and mathematical nature of formal language and automata. It turns out that these concepts have um, with speed um, application in the computer science and are in fact a common uh, theme uh, that connects many special areas. In this lecture, we present some simple examples to give the, the students some uh, assurance that uh, what we study here uh, not just a collection of abstractions, but is something that helps us understand many important real problems. Formal language and grammar are used widely in connection with programming language. In most of our programming, we work with a more or less intuitive understanding of the language in which we write. And occasionally, those when using a an unfamiliar uh, filter, uh, we may need to refer um, to precise descriptions as, uh, as uh, the syntax uh, diagrams found in uh, most uh, programming texts. If we uh, write a complete or if we wish uh, to reason about the, the correction of a program, a, um, a, a precise description of the language is needed at uh, almost every step. Among the ways in which programming language can be def uh, defined precisely, the grammars are perhaps uh, um, the most widely used. The grammars that describe a typical language like Pascal or C or C++ are very extensive. Um, for example, let us take a smaller language that uh, is um, part of a larger one. Example, uh, rules of uh, variable undefined in C are uh, and, and if you uh, is a sequence of letters, digits, and underscores. Um, and underscores must start with a letter or an underscore. Uh, underscores allow upper and lower case letter. Formally, these rules can be described by a grammar. Uh, Alt, uh, desired letter, rest, or uh, underscore, uh, underscores rest. The rest uh, device, the letter rest, or digit rest, or underscores and rest, or empty words. Letter uh, device, uh, uh, other letter, and underscore. Uh, desire the um, uh, fees. In this grammar, it's very it's very able are uh, uh, it letter digit underscores and rest. The letter digits and the underscores are terminals. The um, derivation of uh, a zero is the following. Uh, the definition of programming languages through grammar is common and uh, useful, but uh, there are alternatives um, uh, that are often uh, convenient. For example, we can uh, describe a language by uh, a scepter. Taking every string that is accepted uh, as part of the language, to talk, uh, talk about this in a way, we will need to give a more formal definition of an automaton. We shall do this shortly for the moment. Let us proceed in more intuitive way. 
an automaton can be represented by a graph in which the vertices give the internal states and the edge transition. The label on the edges show what happens in the term in, of input and output during the transition. For example, the following figure represents a transition from state one to state two, which is taken when the input symbol uh, is A. In this intuitive picture in mint, let us look at another way of describing C and D figures. Next example. The following figure is a automaton that accepted uh, all legals uh, C in the figures. We assume that initially uh, the automaton uh, is a state one. We, we indicate this by driving an arrow node originating in any vertex to this state. Uh, as uh, always, the string uh, to be examined is read left to right one character at each step. When the first uh, symbol is letter or an underscore, the automaton goes to the stage two, after which the rest of the string is immaterial. State two, therefore, represents yes state of the uh, acceptor. Uh, conversely, if the first symbol is a digit, the automaton will go to the, the stage state three, uh, the null no state, and remind uh, there. In our solution, we assume that no input other uh, than letter digits or underscores is possible. Apollia and other translators that convert a program from the one language to another make and extensive, uh, extensive uses of the idea uh, tortured uh, on in uh, this example. Programming language can be defined precisely through grammar as uh, a previous example, uh, example number 1.15, and both grammars and automata play a fundamental role in the decision process by which a specific piece of code is accepted as satisfying the condition of the programming language. The above example gives a first hint uh, of how this is done. A subsequent example will expand uh, on this observation. The following example, uh, a previous uh, example. Binary header uh, is an uh, integral part of any general uh, purpose uh, computer. Such an header takes Two bit string representing numbers and uh, produce it the sum uh, as output. For simplicity, let us assume that we are dealing uh, only with positive integer and that we use a representation of which uh, x is equal a zero a one so on a n uh, stand for the integer. Uh, v of x is assumed from i uh, 0 to n, a uh, i uh, to uh, in power uh, i. This is a usual uh, binary representation in reverse. A serial adder pro uh, proceeds to such numbers x which is equal to a0, a1, so on, a, n, and uh, y, is, which is equal to b0, b1, so on, b, n, bit by bit starting at the left end. Each bit additionally creates a digit uh, for the sum as well as a current digit for the next bigger position. Um, a, bin, uh, a, bin, a binary addition 
uh, table, see the uh, figure below, summarizes the progress. This process, yeah. Good. Uh, a block diagram of the kind we uh, saw when the first uh, study at computer is given in the following figure. It tells us that an adder is a bug that accepts two bits and procedures um, uh, the thumb bit and po uh, possible carry. Uh, it uh, describes what is an adder dose, uh, but explain a little about uh, its internal workings. An automaton, no uh, transducer, can make this much more explicit. Uh, the input to the transducer are uh, the bit per a, a i and b i. The output the output will be the sum bit d i. Again, we represent the automaton by a graph now labeling uh, um, the edges. Uh, uh, a i b i divided uh, d i. The key uh, from one step to the next is remembered by the automaton via two internal state labeled carry and no carry. Initially, the transducer will be a state no carry. It will uh, remain in this state until a bit par uh, one one is encountered. Uh, this will uh, generate a carry that takes the automaton into the carry state. The presence of uh, a carry is then taken into account uh, when the uh, next bit par is read. A complete picture of serial adder is given in the following figure, yeah, which we describe uh, this process. Follow these uh, thoughts with a few examples to convince yourself um, that it works uh, cor cor correctly. Since this example indicate the automato uh, serves as a bridge between the very high clever functional description or a circuit. And its log logical implementation through the transistor um, ga gates and uh, flip flops, the automaton clearly show the, the decision logic yet it is um, formal enough to lend itself to precise mathematical manipulation. For this reason, digital uh, design method really uh, heavily on the concepts from Etomato theory. So uh, I finish this lecture and I wish you good luck. And I uh, tell you that you must. Uh, Send me a uh, letter on my email over to Yahoo.com that you uh, listen to this lecture. Goodbye, good luck.